Hi, uh, I'm working on an SD card uh, cartridge for the video pack G7000. So, and uh, it has an Intel 8048 uh, chip, which is actually a microcontroller with its own ROM. But you can, if you attach, of course you can, if you attach the uh, cartridge, which looks like this, you can make the processor jump to that uh, address and fetch um, instructions and data for every cycle. Now, uh, the question I have, um, I have made more videos explaining all of this, but this isn't ready yet, so I'm just making a little update and a question. So. The question I have is, is it possible for the microcontroller inside a video pack, which is an Intel 8048 or MCS, I think, 48, uh, to jump from the cartridge room, which will be this SRAM, uh, this is a 2316 type EEPROM, which I have replaced by an SRAM which I fill with the contents of the SD card or a file in the SD card anyway so it acts like a game room and if I have a menu as the first uh, binary the uh, video pack game console will start from the menu and uh, the idea is that I can select games that are on the SD card of course but the problem is and here comes the question <laughs> um, and you can also see if I program it, so if I reset, you can see and then it's ready So, <laughs> and I've checked this with only 16 bytes and uh, it, it uh, actually checks out, so it, it's managed so it's Arduino, it's very easy to to read from SD cards, anyway yeah, so the question is let's say I have the menu running from the APROM or the SRAM here and the video pack has its own internal memory so I was wondering is it possible to put some code in the RAM such that I can jump let's say you select a game and when you select a game then you want the Arduino to dump a binary file into the SRAM here but the SRAM is now running your code so or the Intel 48 processor it's running cold and fetching instructions and data from the SRAM so <laughs> if you do that you, you crash it so what I was thinking maybe you can put some code in your menu program copy it into memory and jump to memory you can do that on the Commodore 64 but I'm not certain you can do that on the video pack maybe some of you know so that would be great so yeah, so <laughs> this is like a bus transceiver, so the idea is that uh, when you want to program this uh, SRAM you don't want the... Um, you can't have two masters, because now you actually have two masters, one Arduino and then the the game console, so... and um, therefore you kind of... kind of move it the uh, output enable like this, and then uh, you free the transmission between here though, so yeah, so it's a bus transceiver, so I'm, I need more of those. But uh, there's also another thing I, I can talk more about that in uh, future videos. Uh, the uh, video back is uh, or the Intel 8048. I looked at that, it has internal memory, it has program memory, it has RAM 64 byte RAM, but the video pack has also external RAM so. And the thing is that uh, it has a bus, it doesn't have an address bus. <laughs> so the address has to be latched into a address latch on the same 8-bit bus. And then when that's happened in the next cycle or half cycle, it will then uh, put the data on the bus so or fetch it. So um, and uh, also this uh, bus is a uh, bi-directional port, so you can actually switch it off. So I'm thinking maybe if it's uh, running in RAM, on the internal RAM, maybe you can uh, <laughs> detach the port from the uh, video pack, which come from the Intel, such that you don't need this bus transceiver anyway. So that would be cool. So just some ideas, and uh, it's not a real video this, but you see I've done a lot of stuff. I have a video explaining all this, what this means. You have a, 
uh, you have SPI communication down here and then uh, these uh, LEDs they are on um, output enable on a 595 chip I have two of them the other one is driving the uh, counter for the address bus and then the first one is uh, is a SPI or 595 serial to parallel device so I use it for SPI so first the spy comes over here and then I move the data over there and then put it into the uh, SRAM data bus so, so you can see when I program it click it so you can see these two LEDs behind there click again I don't know why this wire is there so look yeah, so these are output enable on the uh, serial to parallels, such that because when you're reading from the SRAM, uh, the driver on the output port is on, therefore <laughs> the output of the uh, parallel output here has to be off. So, <laughs> so you can see now it's on. So this is the output of the SRAM, and then when you're programming, you can see uh, this one turns on. And then when it's finished, it goes away. And this is uh, right enable, so it's actually uh, active low. But uh, um, I have connected these uh, LEDs to five volts such that uh, they light up when they are active, not when they are high. So there you go. Anyway, I will explain that more later. All these LEDs they have internal resistors, so. That makes it very practical to just uh, put them down in the board and uh, just uh, show the state of the pin. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So, see you another time. Bye bye.